Hello, I'm Isaac Ostrom and thanks for checking out another one of my videos. If you're a subscriber and you got a notification, awesome. And if you're new and just happen to stumble across, if you're doing a search on how to do tile, or you're in the right place. So join us today as we do a curdy line drain and a Dietra heat floor in a shower. So what I did is I had the Schluter Systems crew come out, six or eight different installers from our area, and we got together on a Saturday and did a cool little fun demonstration of how we do these installations. So we do Dietra heat, we do a curdy line drain. Again, thanks for checking out my videos. I'm glad you stumbled on it. If you're new, click like and subscribe to bring you more of these videos that I upload about once a week. Hope you guys like it. I'm Dan Scarborough with Schluter Systems. Beautiful, what's your position? I'm a field rep in Northern California. All right, who are you? Eddie Obimeko, territory manager for Schluter Systems for Northern California and Hawaii. Oh, Hawaii, aloha. Adam, what's your company? Icon Tile. Adam with Icon, Adam Tile. With Icon Tile, Instagram star. My name is Zach, I work out of Martinez. <laughs> Justin <laughs> with Milestone Tile. Huh? Daryl Taylor made construction. Uh, <laughs> Steve Glazier with O-Tile. Johnny Juice with Johnny O-Tile. Juice. Who's this guy? Kirk with O-Tile. Atta boy. Alright, so we're using uh, some Presto packs. Sieno Presto Accelerant. Alright, so we got some Dynacrete. Alright. Josh. Away, this whole waterproof. I don't really know how you're gonna waterproof underneath mud. You know, Steve, oh, this is yours. <laughs> Fucking talking about how to mix mud for a half an hour. <laughs> oh, we got our swag table here. Drain top, t shirt. Did you really get over there and finish everything? Oh, you, yeah, you just drag your, just drag your I always take my felt. Yeah. Um, back there, we have uh, because it was like four It was like something. So you're not all the way down. I don't think we need that. I think we need that. I don't even know what we need. I should have just throw the grill yeah, and cook with that. That's the back roads for Napa. Uh, so I tell them and all that to get there. But yeah, I don't want to do that. That's one thing about the air. It's all going to be on the screen. Try to get your back ready. It's wet. I think so. Wet is better. Always, right? And that's what Mikey was saying about a sand castle. Stay. Yeah. Stay. Yeah. Stay. You know? Yeah. Hell of and pass the compaction test. Hey, you're helping me out. Good job. Good job. Come on. Did you never been forward with him? Can I have that? When I said, you're like, fed up. Well, no, when I said, uh, it is perfect. Because he didn't win the FedEx, and I'm sure he just won it. So bad. It's good, no chance. It's really good for the sport. And they, and See, if it's not wet enough, I think it won't run well when you when you go to rev it up and get fix all your dibs. Uh huh. See the issue I'm having? I'm digging into it. That's what he's yeah. talking about. See how it's getting your mud. You want to get a lot of water. Is that the sheet? Yeah. Yes. So we're using uh, Ardex X5. I probably shouldn't say that, huh? <laughs> We're using a. Fresh still. Be able to apply all the pressure to embed that felt. Make sure it's the perfect wood flow for the job. The bubble there. Dress. No, yeah, I've never seen I've never seen, seen this heater mat down there. Go get my uh, Do we got a multimeter? Go get my moldy meter. It's in my green red. We got a multimeter in the house. Dan's gonna get it's in my uh full my official testing. Okay, good. So what's template? what's the warranty, Dan? Sorry? Uh, if you use the megometer test, uh -huh. you get a 15 year warranty. And without with the regular standard test that you uh -huh. can do with any multimeter? Um, you can get a 10 year system warranty. Okay, awesome. If you guys don't have the big they usually lose your number by then, anyways, right? Or move? <laughs> okay. So, with the testing, 
He didn't take it all the way out. So here's how this goes. You don't want to pull this off, right? Because you don't want to open it all the way up, right? Once you do that, you own it. So if the wire is bad at this point, it's return it, and we'll, we'll take care of it for you. On that one, we get a 104.9. There's a tag, silver tag, 104.4. We need to be within 10% of that, so that's a good reading. There you go. Move on to test two. Is it better to be higher or lower in resistance? Does it matter? No, it just needs to be within 10%. The least of the smaller the wire, the more resistance reading. We're going to switch one of these to the ground for test two. We got OL, open loop, right? So that's zero telling resistance. me, yeah, or zero resistance. To, some will say infinity or I for infinity. Just depends on what meter you're using. Uh, but that tells me that the ground's not touching the conductor, and that's a good thing. And then the third test is the megometer test. And what that does is this is what changes for the warranty. If I press this and hold this, I got OL. So I'm over limit. Right, so that's a good test on this meter. Uh, what will it show if it's bad? Uh, it'll you, show some resistance. You'll get a you'll get a resistance number, and okay. it'll be less than one meg. Okay. And if this is uh, what that does is that actually tests the insulation of the wire. So I can nick that wire, and I can nick it bad enough for it not to work, but it still passed the first two tests. Right. And so this tells us there's no damage to the wire. The insulation of the wire is not damaged at all, and we know it'll work forever, basically. Awesome. We do, but we say you do that test three different times. You do it when you buy the wire. Right now, before you unspool it, before you unwrap it, just pull that end out and test it. Right? From all three tests. Because once you un unspool it, it's yours. So if it's bad at that point and it's our fault, it's still yours. So you just pull those ends out and you do your first round of testing. Right? And you do those three tests. And you also test your sensor, sensor wire. Because these things are so. We run it regular and we're too long, so we pull it all back up. Yeah. And this, but then so we have we can a little too much wire here, so we're do a, yeah. doing a little so method. So right here, he could go three, and, and he could have use up more wire. The wire is now marked with a halfway point. Oh, nice. God. So Finally. if you're going through your bathroom and you get to the halfway point and you're not quite halfway through the bathroom. Feet are cold. I'm telling you, expect every color to be that. One out of a hundred. There is one out of a hundred that cut. <laughs> What are you doing there, Steve? This is just the is excess at the end. Oh, it helps. Just it to help. Just if you have tight issue with your side height, side. Uh, Steve's height, preventing mixing up an extra. Bag height of your side. mud. <laughs> just helps tuck it in, and then it will sit. Oh, should have swear. At the same time. It will. Yeah, no joke. As long as you. That was a sensor wire, right, Steve? Sensor wire. You're supposed to have two. But one's for sure. Quit getting the over the top of So you're laying that pad down so much. Remember what that dude put shit rock up on the top. There's four prints on it. Kirk, you want to? <laughs> 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 Just like that. All right? Yeah. Flat trial at first on a big section and then use the putty knife. You make sure that all the air's out and it's done. Yeah. Same thing back when you used to do pour away cans. Yeah. That's it? Yep. Now, is then, this. Then set this piece. Right. Then set this piece and then you'll have this. A little over and then you make sure you put. Of course, of course. There. Now, we, this is high enough though. We don't need to put an extra piece of band here. Is well, that going to be high enough for you? Yeah, because you're going to band this whole area. Yeah. So you need two inches. This is probably close to two inches. Yeah. Down past that, when I bring my wall, I bring it down to the top of this. Yeah. So I still only got two layers. Never looked at it from this view before, huh? <laughs> Very true. Uh, it's easier. I've never been in the wall well, because I don't want to get on the floor right now. I'm sure I probably could. Probably set up enough. Normally, this is the second day after the photo. Which is one of the advantages of using the sheet membrane. As long as that cure is quick enough, if you're using a rapid, you can get on top of it. If you use a rapid, and we're, we're allowed to use a rapid on the felt, right? Well, no, if you use a rapid mortar bed like you did. Or yeah. First yeah, or exactly. Oh, right. And we have. We've used, but it. we didn't like the product we used. We're going to have to do what we just did. We'll have to add burst to it. 
And that's still considered strong enough, right? Too much right? sunset all over the city. <laughs> yes. oh. So, we would rather see an extra corner on top than do a 30 foot? Curdy, curdy it's thick. Too thick? Yeah. Oh yeah, I wouldn't even want it to. Yeah. Yeah. I make mine like yeah. pond water. You don't, because you just made this for me. No. <laughs> yeah, you did, didn't you? <laughs> I forgot you take hell long, so I skipped it. Oh, dude! <laughs> He's doing more talking than traveling here. <laughs> this is a demo. This See, is like right now, you're still doing it. Hey, I'm not on a job. I'm not on the job. I'm only by myself. That's where I get the most of my work done. I'm by you myself. just fed us like nine chicken sandwiches. Bear with us. <laughs> I feel like a circle. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I should probably get outside of the wall. Chris, thanks for having me. And the homeowner's daughter walked up and was like, Where's the drain? And she pointed out, and that girl really went. Are you serious? <laughs> 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 I do that. I should have filmed it for you. Turn the shower off while she's doing that. <laughs> See? Yes. See, the water in your hair is going so right your, your tile. Whatever the thickness is on the here is going to match up with theirs. You just then set your tile directly to the grade assembly and then also the shower pan there. Now, when you're up against the wall like this, you have the option of using this uh, rubber. Oh, we just more creates things, so. a shadow gap so that you're not stalling a small piece of tile right here. You would. Take the double-sided tape off of here. Put that down. Hold this side down for you. Yeah. And then this piece oh, would scissors. be cut. Uh, Just cut side. wider, yeah. Your, your wall tile would come down like that. And this piece would be cut longer. Then set it to here, and this rubber oh, yes. doesn't allow to, sure to bond to the back side. That. That so that it won't bond there, and <coughs> when you look straight down at it, it's black, so it looks like you're looking down the drain. Right? So then this piece can still pop out with this tile cantilevered over the edge. And you, you got your, your it's clean. It looks real clean. So that's how we're going to start doing it, huh? Yeah. Rubber piece that goes in here to, um, and the wall tile sits directly on that. And then our our drain top, you can see how we have the tile cantilevered over the edge there. It's sticking out past you know, maybe quarter inch, three eighths, probably three eighths, so that when we put the drain in here. It sits up against the wall. Then there's just a gap for the water to drain instead of having a small cut piece of tile there. So that's what Eddie was showing there, uh, explaining what that piece of black rubber was for. We can all do a shower now. Yeah, right on, guys. Thanks for coming. That's Thank awesome. you. That's really cool. I want two chicken sandwiches. So you guys also see, saw the pictures of my infrared. So this is a little attachment. Uh, it's a FLIR that goes into my iPhone and uh, it, it does infrared light so you can see actually see the wires in the floor which is really cool. It's a neat little feature. Okay I want to go over the uh, new Wi-Fi thermostats real quick. Uh, basically this thermostat works just like the other touchscreen programmable thermostats. You can set your temperature, you can go to your heating schedule, you can edit your heating schedule throughout the day. Do everything like that. Uh, you can do the manual, turn it up, it'll turn on. You can adjust for a few hours, a few days permanently. Do everything you can with the regular thermostat. The new thing is, is you can download an app that can control it from your phone. If you have Wi-Fi service to this, real easy. It'll, it'll go through just like you're going to set up other, any other device to Wi-Fi. So I have my, my iPhone here, and if I want to change it, see it shows the same things on here. I can turn it up to 100 and adjust it, and I'll just do permanently. See, it clicked over right there. Uh, I'm going to hold it permanently, and it's going to do over to permanently. I want to put it back down, 92. 
Let's adjust it. 